Uh, I'm Alana Massad. I'm the founder and host of the Other Stories podcast. Well, I guess I first started being a book critic um, in college. So I was I went to Oxford for a year, and uh, while I was there, I was reading a ton. Like I was reading, I think it was. So I was reading one book each week, each term, and there are three terms. So it was 24 books and writing like a long ass paper about each of those books um, with a lot of research and, you know, critical stuff. Uh, and that year I also started working on the school paper there, um, so the Oxford student newspaper. And um, I became the arts and literature section editor and I just decided to sort of see if I could book review because that seemed like, you know, the dream job for a reader and a writer is like, oh, you know, you get to read books and get paid for it. I interned for this book blog called Bookish um, and so I wrote freelance for them a little bit and then I had some clips so I started sending to bigger places. I uh, did some book lists for Bustle and it sort of grew from there. I'm supposed to say that I want to teach because that's what you do with a PhD. You become a doctor and then you go and teach at universities. But I would really want to just keep doing what I'm doing now, being a freelance essayist and book critic and um, hopefully get an agent and sell a book or two or 12. Well, we launched, I guess it's almost three, we launched in April of 2015. Um, and so it was in sort of production for about four months before that. Um, so. The way I got the idea was there's the New Yorker Fiction podcast and there's Fresh Air and those are two podcasts that at the time were sort of like the only big podcasts that were interviewing authors um, and writers and those are only really famous people, you know, get to be on those. Um, people who've been, you know, had many books published and I was sort of thinking about how after I'd finished college I had, I wasn't in a writing workshop. Most of my friends were readers, not writers. And I didn't really have anybody to talk about, you know, the process of writing. I was thinking about how there must be other people out there like me, right? Like writers who are writing, but who don't get to talk to people about their work. Even if they get published, people, and you, you know, you share it on Facebook and on Twitter and people are like, good job, but they're, they're never gonna talk to you about how did you write this? What were you thinking about? What was your intention? This is what I understood from it. And I was thinking about how there should be a place for people to get to do that. Um, so I have a submittable page. Um, that's like where people submit their work. Um, it's sort of the standard uh, submission process that's used by all literary magazines or most literary magazines. At this point, I also have publicists who reach out to me and are like, you know, this person has a book coming out or this person has a short story collection. Early on, I just kind of started with a network of writers that I knew. I really like the live episodes that we've done. So we did a reading at Bard College where um, people, the, the teachers at Bard like nominated the students uh, to read. And then we went, we drove up to Bard. This was when I was still living in New York um, and Bard is in upstate New York. So we drove up and we did this live reading in an auditorium. It's just kind of a way to get out word about writers who aren't already super established, you know, like, People who aren't the Stephen Kings and the J.K. Rowlings of the world still need to get heard. You know, writing is a really hard and lonely process, so getting to have a little bit of a community um, is, I think, helpful.